Hi hey guys, it's Marsha Malik and today we have Lippy in the car. Hey Lippy, how's it going? I'm good. You're good, yeah? So you've had a few lessons now? Yeah. How do you feel about your driving? Good. Good, so better than before, more confident? Yeah. Lippy insisted that she wanted a mock test, so we're going to see how it goes in the mock test. So the first thing we need to do is uh, give it a big thumbs up and a like and we're going to, before we do that, at the beginning of the mock test, they're going to make you sign inside the test centre, then make you read a number plate. Okay. So what's the number plate there of that car in front on the right there? D-A-7-0-0-R-G On the right. Oh, that's too close. Uh, K-D-19-F-B-G ah. B-G. So, okay, that's the number plate. Do you get that? So it's about, it's about 70 feet, 67 feet that they make you read a number okay. plate. Do you get okay. What to do with that? As they're walking toward the car, they're going to ask you one tell me question. Okay? So, can you tell me what is the legal requirement for tire tread depth? 1.6 millimeter and also no cards and uh, the tires. Fantastic, good, well done. Now the test, about the test, is going to last about 35 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. In that we're going to do one manoeuvre, okay, and during the one manoeuvre also we might do an emergency stop, okay, okay? and we're going to do some sat nav driving as well, okay, and one show me question while you're driving. If you don't understand, please just ask again. All right? Okay. Guys, thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and give Lippy a big thumbs up. Okay, Lippy, so follow the road ahead. Mm -hmm. At the end of the road, I'd like you to turn left. The sat-nav, as you can see here, will kick off. And then just follow the sat-nav. And if you don't understand, please ask. Okay? Drive on when you're ready, please. <coughs>
right on the roundabout and take the third exit. yards, turn right, A121, Forest Road, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit, High Road. yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A121, High Road, then take the third right. <clears throat> oh. 
After 200 yards, turn right, by the park. So, leave you where the next, uh, where the police car just turned. of the road, turn left, Nursery Road. Lippy has pulled the car onto the curb. She's actually gone onto the footpath. Because she's got half the car onto the curb, for that reason she would have failed the mock test and if it was a proper test she would also have failed that. It's important to keep on the road to avoid failing the test. <coughs> Right and then 
right onto the main road. Two right. Turn right, A121, high road, then take the second left. yards, turn left, Lucton's Avenue. This is the reverse parallel park exercise. That silver car ahead of you there, okay. I'd like you to pull up alongside it and reverse parallel park and finish off within two car lengths. Don't worry about the driveway, just okay. finish within two car lengths. What you've normally done on your driving lessons. Okay. <laughs> well, are we ready to carry on, please? <laughs>
<clears throat> and drive on. It's okay, it's finished. It's coming. It's driving on YouTube. Thank you. Yeah, drive on. Thank you. of the road, turn right, Russell Road. Turn right. yards, turn left, A121, high road, then cross then the roundabout the the and take car. the second come exit. In. Yeah, come in, about one car length away from the blue car, please, one car length away, don't worry about the drivers, go forward, yeah, all the way to the blue car, mm, a bit more, keep going, that's it, keep going. Okay, um, a bit more closer to the blue car, please. But one car left away. Yeah, thank you. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, and drive on when you're ready, please. <clears throat> After 60 yards, turn left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. the roundabout and take the second exit A121 High Road <coughs> Cross the roundabout and take the first exit then turn right turn right stab lane End of the road, turn left, A104, Epping New Road, then take the third right. So I'm turning left first, then I'm going to take the third right. <coughs> turn left, then take the third right.
100 yards, turn right, Whitehall Lane. Turn right. Destination, Whitehall Road. It is on your right.
keep going, keep going, keep going. After that learner car, pull up on the left, slow down. After the learner car, after the learner car. That's it. And pull up on the left. <coughs> More that way, more that way. So, Lippy, that was the end of your mock test. How do you feel that you did on your mock test? Not too good. Why? Because it was past time and I was scared I didn't read. Okay, you can let the brake go now. It's okay. Brake control. It's done. Okay. So, that is the end of the mock test. You have failed. Yeah. Only one serious fault. That's not bad. Only one serious fault. And you won't believe what it's for. Your minors, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minors. That's okay, you allowed fifteen. Yeah, that's not a problem that can happen. I've got to tell you guys, it's really important to know this. I've taught Lippy now. How many lessons we had? Is our fourth lesson today? Fifth. Fifth lesson, so eight hours we've done properly, proper. I'm so proud of how good you drove. I'm being serious. We we were both saying before the mock test that Lippy and me were saying that we're going to get ten serious faults, <laughs> three, four minor, uh, what do you call it, dangerous faults, yeah? Only got one serious fault. One. I'm so proud of you, seriously. That was such a good drive. You had such good composure. You done really, really well. Yes, you got some. We're gonna work on this. When's your test? And um, the end of December. End of December. We have enough time to fix your driving, but <coughs> you you had a good route, meaning nothing really happened so much. But there are some problems which we're gonna cover. But I just want to let you know that I'm really proud how you drove, and you read you you had a very good composure about yourself and your driving. So. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did really, really well. Well done. Now let's talk about the the things. So the first was the lights. The lights you switch. You switched off. It should be forward one two, oh. one two back. Yeah. So yeah, the I lights you actually switch them off. So I said put on your dip tray because you answered the first one correctly. The second one you did. If you got both wrong, that would be a serious fault. But it was just one. In the reverse park exercise, I gave you one for control. At the end, I just pointed when you finished. I went like this. Mm. The gap was really big. Big. Not like fail big, otherwise it would be a serious fault. It was a minor. So I'm not going to, you know, like fail you for something which is not right. Mm -hmm. Only once you, your move-offs were good. You was doing your checks. And you the double shoulder check is really important. That second one as you're moving off. And then you check again. So I only got one for that. <coughs> you signaled a bit late at junction once. Okay. no okay. big. There's not big deals there, okay. Use of speed. When we came down from Loughton roundabout, you came down, you noticed the speed was slow. Then we came to that little, the, the way it's a bit, the road was narrow when you had to go. It's very fast. Come slower. That was time. starting? Yes, that's fine, but okay, the road is a bit tight. Okay, come slower, to... come in a bit. That's a minor for that there. All right. Um, so that's that covered. Okay. Um, the meeting I gave you for judgment is that just that near the, just... We were turning left, when we had to turn left and take the third right, mm. there was a mini coming, mm. it took a long time to move off, so I was just judging it. Yeah. If you got really close, that would have been a serious fault. Again, I gave you, you did that twice, by the way, but you know, there's actually, to be honest, two meeting points that you had that situation there, because somebody overtook us at one time as well. So it's important to get your speed up, so that they don't have to slow down because of you. <clears throat> your position during normal driving, Okay, you just got one minor for that there. I think your positioning was a little bit off. But generally it's good. Now, the normal stops, I gave you two minors and a serious fault because you hit the curb twice. When I said pull oh, up curb, yeah, yeah. You hit it twice, yeah? Because yeah? you came in too close. That's all it is. Okay. And then... This is the minor, the serious fault. The serious fault is when I said pull up on the left. There was no curb, but there was a wall. And you took half the car onto the curb. Okay. So if you didn't do that, you would have passed your mock test. So that's the way I got you serious fault because you took half. You'll see when you see the video, you see you came in. Because there's no curb there, you should have came out and straightened it. But today, oh, for some reason, you've been That was level. 
That's why you had to do level, it. And you took the car halfway up uh, from there. I didn't think it's... Uh, no, but look at the road positioning and look at the line okay, of the road. Okay, okay. And that is the only thing you would have failed on today. Can okay. you believe that? So guys, give Lippy a big thumbs up. Wish you good luck for a test at the end of December. Hopefully we should have a fully ready by then. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.